Hi everyone, welcome to my macroeconomic series of videos. Um, we're going to start by looking at the macroeconomic objectives of government. The macroeconomy is so vast, it's so large, that actually when it comes to measuring the performance of the economy, it's very difficult to pinpoint something because of the vastness. So to help the government actually assess the performance of the macroeconomy, the government has specific objectives, they have specific indicators which they focus on. And they can be categorised by four kind of key things and a few other smaller things on the side as well. So, the way I like to look at macroeconomic objectives is to remember this acronym, TIGERS. It's never going to steer you wrong as TIGERS. So learn TIGERS really well, and when you understand what TIGERS is, you'll get to what these macroeconomic objectives are. So let's work through TIGERS. First of all, in T, the governments always look at trade performance. Trade is fundamental. And what's the objective? The objective is for balanced trade. Balanced trade. Not having much of a deficit, not having a huge deficit, and not having a huge surplus either. Balance between imports and exports, between revenue leaving the country and uh, revenue entering the country. Balanced trade performance. I, you have inflation. The governments very much target inflation. Uh, specifically, what is the objective here? Low and stable. A certain level of inflation is deemed acceptable. So low inflation is, is deemed acceptable, but as long as it's stable, not high, not rampant, not accelerating. Low and stable inflation. G is a fundamental one. A fundamental objective of government is growth, targeting real GDP. And what's the objective here? To have strong growth, but also sustained Try and negate the effects of the business cycle. Strong, sustained growth. E is for employment. A very important macroeconomic indicator. The objective here, very simply, is just low unemployment. As low as possible. As close to full employment as possible. These are the four key macro objectives. Regardless of the government in the world, they will target these four indicators and they will look for these specific objectives. But there might be some other governments around the world that also have other objectives too. So there can be a whole host of other, maybe smaller objectives. And certainly these two are probably the biggest of the smallest others. So R, to redistribute income. So redistribution of income. To look for income equality, as fair as society desires. And finally, S is for stability in the economy. Economic stability can also be a macroeconomic objective. You can have a whole host of others as well. But these, I guess, are the key ones. The top four, especially, all governments target. And these four things really are at the heart of all of macroeconomic analysis. Anything you do in macro comes back to pretty much the assessment on these four macro indicators. So learn tigers very well. It's never going to steer you wrong. It's always going to do good for you. See you next time. Thank you.